Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're ready to find the derivative of the hyperbolic tangent of x, and of course we know that that's equal to the ratio of the hyperbolic sine to the cosine, which means that it can be written into this format, and then it becomes taking the derivative of this expression right here. Now that's a quotient, so we're going to use the quotient rule. So we take the denominator, e to the x plus e to the minus x, and multiply the times the derivative of the numerator, which is e to the x. Now here, when we take the derivative of e to the minus x, we get minus e to the minus x, which cancels out this minus, and makes that a plus e to the minus x, minus the numerator, which is e to the x, minus e to the minus x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x, and here, when we take the derivative, we get the negative, that turns into a minus e to the minus x, all divided by the denominator squared, which is e to the x, plus e to the minus x quantity squared. So now we need to multiply everything in the numerator. So let's see what we get when we do that. So we multiply these two together, we get e to the 2x. And multiply those two together, we get plus e to the 0 power. Multiply those two together, plus e to the 0 power. Multiply those two together, we get plus e to the minus 2x. And then we subtract from that, because the negative sign, everything multiplied here, which is e to the this times this, which is e to the 2x. This times this gives us minus e to the 0. This times this gives us minus e to the 0. And this times this gives us plus e to the minus 2x. And the whole thing is still divided by the denominator, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared. Now let's see if we can cancel some things out in the denominator, and sure enough, we have an e to the 2x minus e to the 2x, so these cancel out. We have an e to the minus 2x and a minus e to the minus 2x, so those two cancel out. And finally, notice we have e to the 0, which is 1, plus 1, and this negative negates those two negatives, so we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, or 4 divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared. Now, if we write that as follows, we can write this as 2 divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x times 2 divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. Then you notice that in each case, those are the inverses of the hyperbolic cosine of x. So basically, this is equal to the 1 over the hyperbolic cosine of x quantity squared there's two of them. That means that this is actually equal to the, the 1 over the cosine, 1 over the hyperbolic cosine is equal to the hyperbolic secant, and since it's squared, this becomes the hyperbolic secant square of x, which means that the derivative, the ddx of the hyperbolic tangent of x is equal to the hyperbolic secant square of x, and that's how we know.